around at this price when I got our new sharp Aquas television, bringing you back a ways. Yeah. And we got the $600. First of all, we did the 5.1 surround thing. How many holes in the wall? Never, yeah. ever will I do that again. Yep. <clears throat> Second, never doing that again. $600 sound bar. Yep. 200 bucks to install it into the wall. That, now we're at $800, plus I got rid of the 5.1. So it, I'm, it's, it's crazy. It adds up fast. It adds up fast. Look at this baby. Most respected name in sound. This is the Bose Solo. Yeah, and Rick wow. hit right on the head. There's a lot of work that goes into making your TV sound good. It's unfortunate because you spend a lot of money on a TV. It's razor thin. It's a beautiful picture, and it sounds awful. Simply because there is no place to put the audio. So what if you could make your TV sound better with one cable? So I'm going to shut up and let you guys hear the difference okay, between the speakers in here and the speakers in here, and you will know when we change over. Watch this. TV speakers? In case I could carry out my work. Nice case. little boost. Oh, oh bass from Bose. I'm frightened now. Right. I'm intrigued. <laughs> I'm bored. Missing? Bored. Everything's missing. I'm amazed. When it gets quiet, there is a reason. What if you're in the movie theater and all of a sudden this happens? You get up and walk out. All the little nuances are gone until we switch back. It's hard to believe at first, but I got used to it. You can hear the silverware clanking and the dish is breaking. I understand. Big finish. That at all. Nothing at all. Watch this. You know how much that video cost? $30 million to make it. <laughs> no, it didn't. I have no idea. But it sounds like $30 million. It sounds like $30 million. Right? That sounds, was awesome. That was cool. I right? haven't seen that in a long, long time. And that is what you're going to experience. You know, when big movies are made, all these Avenger movies, almost half the budget goes into the sound of the movie. There's not one sound in a movie that you go to when you go to the movie theater that is original. Right. And I'm talking like... Yep. Somebody walking, the somebody artist. snapping their fingers, somebody breathing. All of that is recreated because they have to have the sound up front. Your sound is up front. I have never seen this price before. It's on five, you went to $39.99. This is a, only at QVC at this price. Free shipping and handling, and it's Bose. It's Bose, and they made it easy. And that's the big difference between what Rick went through and what I went through, uh, I don't know, 15 years ago. Because I was like, I gotta have this surround sound thing. So you know what I did? I cut three holes in the front wall where the TV was. Then I had to figure out a way to hide speaker wire and put it to the back speakers and the woofer, and, or you can do this. One cable, and I kid you not. Well, there's two, because you have to plug it into the wall. This is the back of your Bose Solo 5. You get a power cable, and you plug it in where it says power. Then, you take the only cable you're gonna need. This is called an optical cable. Where do you plug it? Where it says optical, you can't miss. It only fits in that port. The other end of this cable goes into the back of your TV where it says optical. That's all, and from that point on, anything you play through your TV, cable, satellite, Amazon Fire Stick. That's uh, crazy. Gaming system. Not anything. even three plugs. Not Literally. Even three plugs. Plug the thing in and plug it to the TV with one plug, and that's all you need to do. Oh, I got a couple of quick questions yeah. for you. What about uh, movies that have a lot of sound, sure. uh, but there's a lot of dialogue that you want to hear? Yeah, and that's a big complaint, I think, uh, whether you're watching a movie, whether you're watching a TV show, whether you're watching news. That, that's know. in my complaint with my sound bar. Well, all of us, as we get a little bit older, doesn't sound as good, right? So you hit pause, then you rewind, then you turn the volume up. And you hit pause and rewind, turn the volume even louder. All you do there is just make everything louder and even more distorted. So Bose came to the rescue with this tiny little button that looks like a little thought bubble. Well, let's show that. Let's see this little thought bubble. Thought bubble. There it is. Hi, so that's a little bubble. dialogue enhancement button. Ooh. And when you hit that. What the heck does it know? I don't know. Well, exactly. How does it know? I don't know. They well, let me ask you this. Kind of stuff. Uh, you, so that remote comes along with it. This comes along with it. So not only will it I can it use my regular easier, remote on my whatever I'm using. Well, or you can teach. If or you look you up teach. here at the top, when you turn this on for the very first time, you can teach the DVD player and the Blu-ray So it becomes player. a universal remote, basically. Yeah, look at that. Gaming system, all that good stuff. And okay. look at that little icon right there. Another bonus. It's, it's Bluetooth. It's a Bluetooth That's speaker. crazy. On top of being a really, 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 really good TV speaker, which means now you can use it for the TV. Or you can hit the Bluetooth button and it goes and it finds your phone or your tablet or your computer and all of your music can come through this. But check this out. I want you guys to hear this again because, by the way, 
The volume is set the same here as it is on here. I know a lot of people go, well, they're just turning the volume up. No, we're not. In all fairness, this is Bose doing their thing, and you're going to hear the difference between what it sounds like through the TV speaker first, where it says TV sound. When I hit the button, it'll say Bose. Tell me you don't hear a difference. To the naked ear, it sounds fine. But now it sounds better. They knew not to ask questions. It's even easier to hear her with yeah. all that's going on in the background, right? I learned to notice things. It where's, sounds where's the bass. There's no bottom end right now. Watch this. And just like that, it's time again. Back to the TV speakers and the low end is gone. I got used to it. Can I tell you something? Wild, right? Oh, yeah, wild. Keep going, keep going. All right, TV sound, big finish with the bows. That is so incredibly, like, in the studio. Yeah. How does that sound? Travis, does that sound pretty good? Yeah? Yeah. It's so impressive right here that I'm looking at this TV. I don't know what kind of TV it is, right? Yeah. However, I would rather have an okay TV and an incredible <laughs> Bose That's Solo great, 5 sound system. That's a great way to put it. Than a great TV and a sh shabby <laughs> or no non-existent sound system. No, you, there's no, no right? doubt about it. Because well, I'm not getting anything out of this thing by just watching it. You need to feel it. That's why movie theaters invest millions of dollars. So you feel the sound. You can feel the sound at home. Why is it called the Bose 5? Uh, that was just the series because they started it. and they and they've made different uh, different versions of it over the years. Nice part about the Solo 5 though is the size more than anything else. They have a much larger one, they have a bigger one, they got a heavier one, they got a this, they got a that. This will fit anywhere. I this got a question for yeah. more questions for you because sure. I love, love, love this. Go for it. Uh, is, is it one speaker system or is it smaller speakers? The, How does that work? Yeah, there's there's a whole set of speakers. That's where you're getting that low end as well. So uh, a modified woofer, so to speak, the low end lives inside there as well. I can but, barely see it inside the grill. But, but Bose, yeah. Bose did it with the Bose Wave music system. They can room filling sound yeah. in something really compact. So, so this is incredibly compact. You don't don't need any uh, drilling. No. You don't need to mount this to the wall. You can literally put it anywhere. You can put this in like a guest room with a cheap TV and get the best sound in the house. Yep. All right? It's down in the basement, home theater. You think, let's price out home theater system. You can spend, people who are into audio can spend 10 grand on audio. You'll spend more on the audio than you will on the television. You, there's and no it, doubt about it. And it's Bluetooth. So, so what does that mean if I'm having a party right now? Right. right? So, and I'm not, we don't have the TV on. Right, but I just want an incredible sounding Bluetooth speaker. How would I use that? Yeah, and, it, and it's easy because of the remote. As we showed you before, you have the ability to listen to it uh, for cable and for satellite and all that stuff. But to Rick's point, what if you want to turn the TV off and use it for a party, you simply hit the Bluetooth button instead of cable or satellite or whatever, and it's smart enough to send out the Bluetooth signal so that your phone or your tablet or your computer. And by the way, for those of you that watch movies, and many of us do, on a computer, on a tablet, on a whatever, and you've got those pinhole speakers and you can't hear anything, same problem, smaller than what we have right here, you can use the Bluetooth to be able to listen to the movie as you're watching it. So you can be on the couch, watching your private little movie theater right there and filling the room up using this because of the Bluetooth option. And you also have it hardwired to your television with, by the way, one cable, and I can't say that enough because I know a lot of you go, it's really cool and it sounds great and I'm sure it'll change the way that I listen and view and all that stuff, but I know nothing about the hookup part. This is it right here. This one cable goes into the back where it says optical. The other end of it goes into the back of your TV where it says optical and you plug it into the wall. That's all. It's smart enough to go, I'm in charge of the TV now. You're going to use the Bose remote. Let it go. By the way, uh, the Q Anytime app, have you seen the Q yeah, Anytime app? Cool. We went on it the other night with uh, Craig Smith, uh -huh. and you can go, and it's just video after video, and you can go into um, categories. We went into the electronics category, and you were in the first 12 videos. <laughs> this Brett. Oh, that. there's Brett. Yeah. Oh, there's Brett again. <laughs> uh, love having you here. This is so awesome yeah, that if cool. I was a burglar, I would break in and, just and steal I would this. steal this. You'd leave the TV. You'd need the ring to stop me. You would need the ring. A little cross How's that for a you. segue? How about that? <laughs> Give me uh, 30 seconds on this. What'd you bring, Brett? The 30 seconds is be able to hear what you're watching, right? You buy a beautiful TV, you can't hear anything with one cable. Plug it into the wall, turn it on, Bose takes over, and now you hear the audio and the sound and all the goodness the way it should be. Three, two, 
one scene. Most respected name and sound, scene E229238. Thank you, Brett Hamilton. Thank you. Uh, five is even at the $39.99. Gotta let you know a couple things. Uh, the ring, oh, did I mention the ring? Happens to be coming up. How about that?